Okay, so for number four, um, the first thing we do is notice that the numbers right here I can take care of first. This is a division line, right? The fraction is a, a division. So 12 divided by 6, I already know that's going to be 2. Everything on the top, I'm going to rewrite it. Okay? And then I notice there are the same letters on top and bottom, so I can still uh, simplify some of those. Then the ones on the bottom, remember the rule, bottom up, so I know how to simplify them. So when I move x to the negative 6 up here, I'm going to write it here, but when I move it up, it's going to change from negative 6 to the 6. Every time it goes from bottom to top, it'll change the sign on the exponent. Every time it goes from that from top to bottom, it'll do the same thing. So here went from negative 6 to positive 6. Z to the 5th, now when I bring it up here, it's going to be Z to the negative 5. And Y squared is going to be Y to the negative 2 because they went up here. So now they're all in the same line. So now I just have to simplify it by combining the, the letters. Okay, so whenever you're multiplying with the same base, you add the exponents. That was the shortcut. So here when I multiply x to the negative fifth times x to the sixth, I end up with x only because negative five plus six is one x. The two is still there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the z. When I multiply z to the seventh times z to the negative fifth, I add the exponent, so 7 minus 5, or 7 plus negative 5, will give me z to the second power. And then lastly, the y, when I multiply y to the fourth times y to the negative 2, I add the exponent, and so 4 plus negative 2 would give me y to the second power. And that will be the answer to that one.